Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you could hit the subscribe button and stay for a while. And if you're returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell from the title of the video, Wayne Goss recently launched or relaunched, revamped. Wayne Goss launched some new brushes. <laughs> I purchased four of his brushes and we are here to use them. We are here to talk about Wayne Goss and we are here to also use some of the other products that his brand has to offer. I haven't tried everything, but I have tried a decent amount. If that's a video you would like to see, then just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, my lovelies. So the first edition is the name of this brush set. There is five face brushes and six eye brushes, it looks like. I only picked up three of the eye brushes and one of the face brushes. He does have them individually at Beautylish, which is where I ordered mine from. And he also has two sets. The face set, which retails for $2.91, and it includes the five face brushes, and the first edition eye set, which retails for $1.58, and it has the six eye brush sets. I'm particular about my brushes, so I decided just to pick individual ones. These feel very soft. I have already used this one here, which is called the F1. And as you could see, it's like at an angle, puffy, but also a tiny bit flat. I've been using this for powder bronzer, but I'm pretty sure you can use this for so many things. Blush, precision powder. I think he called this the all over the face brush. I did watch his video, but... I will say one thing. I know that when brushes are announced and released and the creator does a video on the brushes, I do get some comments telling me that I'm not using the brushes correctly. That is a beautiful thing about brushes is that you use them the way they fit you best. Even though a brush was created for one particular thing or when they designed the brush, that's what they had in mind, you could end up using it for something else and absolutely loving it. Don't come at me in the comments. <laughs> All right, let's get started. I do have the Wayne Goss foundation, so I'm going to go ahead and apply that and the other items that I do have from Wayne Goss, and I will definitely be using these brushes today. Okay, so the Luxury Cream Foundation from Wayne Goss. I have the shade number seven. You could tell that I have definitely used this, at least I hope you can. Uh, let me put my hair up. <laughs> I forget, I think it's been well over a year since he launched his foundation. And I do remember hearing a couple of people talk about it, but that's it. I haven't heard anyone else talk about the foundation since. I still use it. I still do really enjoy it. It's a really nice foundation. I think he did a phenomenal job. I think you can definitely wear it on the light side, but you can also build it up a tiny bit. I already primed my face and all that. I don't think he has any primers or anything in his line. I did not pick up the foundation brush. I have so many foundation brushes. And I just purchased the BK Beauty and uh, Nikki La Rose brush set. So I just, I wanted to be mindful and just grab a couple of brushes. I missed out on his last brush launch, so I really, really wanted to participate a tiny bit in this one. But do you see that? Do you see how natural his foundation looks? I do really enjoy this product. I think he did a phenomenal job. That is the one thing I love about his channel. He, he explains things. In case you didn't know, educational makeup videos are some of my favorite to watch. Okay, as you could see, I already have some cream products down. I also went ahead and applied 
concealer. I used the Givenchy Paris Bay Libre. And then I did go ahead and set my under eyes with the Easy Bake from Huda Beauty for cream, bronzer, and contour, the Kevin Aquan Contour Stick, and the RCMA Cream Bronzer. And then for the blush, I went in to this little Huda. Um, it's the cream blush in Rebel Red. Haven't used it in a minute, so I decided to use this today. Okay, so when he came out with his foundation, he also came out with a powder. This is the weightless powder, and I would definitely agree with that. It's a pretty finely milled product, and you don't need to cake it on. Um, there's only one shade. I don't know how this works on tan and deep complexions. If you've tried this and you're in the darker side of skin tone, let me know. Did it work out for you? Do you enjoy it? This is the Sonia G Enoch E Pro Brush. I will say though, um, it will lighten up your foundation a tiny bit. Beware. And also, you don't need a lot. Use it very lightly. It does set my powder. It does set my foundation. I feel like whenever I do use this, I do have to add a tiny bit of a different powder. If you are somebody who really needs to set your foundation, maybe use this as a finishing powder. And if you're somebody who loves a super lightweight kind of setting powder, then this is this is your jam. Okay, now for powder, bronzer, and contour. And I do have a Wayne Goss product. This is the Radiance Boosting Face Palette. I have it in Satin Bronze. I do believe there is only three shades available. And this is the second, so the middle shade. This is the contour shade and this is the bronzer shade. And as you can see, the bronzer has a tiny bit of sheen to it. Formula is different from the um, contour. The contour is a little bit more on the powdery side. But I do enjoy this. I haven't picked it up in a good minute and I do really enjoy this. So we're going to use it today and I'm excited. We're going to use the F1 and start with the powder contour. I'm dipping lightly because it is pretty pigmented. I will say these brushes are so soft. I thought Sonia G brushes were soft. These are like maybe a tiny bit softer. They're just so soft and they feel so good on my hand. Like they were designed for my hand. <laughs> Wayne Goss does use Japanese artist artisans. Is that how you say it? Uh, so artists from Japan that create these brushes for him. I mean, you know, he, of course, is along for the process, but uh, in case you didn't know, some of the best brushes come from Japan. They take it very serious over there. <laughs> now I'm gonna turn it over to like the flat side and I'm going to dip into the bronze, the bronzy shade, which is a tiny bit more warm and you can tell that it's the bronzer. Yeah, this brush, I've been using it, like I said, for my powder bronzer. I just cleaned it before I started filming and it's been laying down my product so beautifully. Just almost airbrushed. Love it. I am super ecstatic. This will definitely become a new favorite for powder bronzer. Um, we'll see if I end up using it for anything else, but for right now, bronzer it's what i'm in love using it for it's just so pretty so it like it lays down everything perfectly okay i love that contour and bronzer duo i feel like we don't see too many powder contours being released and it's a really good one the formula is great okay so i do have two of his eyeshadow palettes i have the tourmaline and the pearl palette do I have another one or is that? I think that's it. This is the Tourmaline, which is a tiny bit more on like the burgundy, darker tone of things. And then Pearl is a little bit on the lighter side. I feel like this is the perfect shades for like 
a wedding I look, whether you're a bridesmaid, mother-in-law, or mother of the bride, or your bride itself. I don't know. I'm going to maybe use both. Um, I only have three brushes here, but it's okay. We're going to make it work. And I think I'm going to start with the E2, which looks like a crease brush. And let's start with Tourmaline. Um, let's use... Let's start with this brown shade here. I heard about Wink Oss through Mel Thompson. I did hear Morgan Turner talk about Wink Oss as well, but the first person was Mel Thompson that I was like, okay, I need to check out this Wink Goss person. <laughs> he is a makeup artist, FYI. And he does create videos here on YouTube. They're mostly educational videos, techniques, all that good stuff. He does review some makeup, but not too much. I do enjoy his content. I love, he's pretty honest and it gives you a good, good, thorough, I guess, information. Wow, that blended out so beautifully. But yes, um, Mel Thompson is who introduced me to Wayne Goss. And I actually picked up this because of her. Um, it's the very last palette that she reviewed before her passing. So a little tribute to her in this video as well. Okay, this is such a pretty brush. Um, it's pretty soft, but it's also firm at the same time. Not super firm, but like, I don't know. I just, it's, it's a good, I did not think I was going to enjoy this just because of how pointy it is, but it worked great. Okay, now we're going to jump into pearl, and I think we're going to do this shade here. I did wipe the brush. We're going to jump into the same brush, and we're going to use this to blend out the edges of that shade, point out the outer corner. It's like these brushes were meant for this formula. It's... I mean, I enjoyed his formula before, but I feel like they're performing much better because of these brushes. Love that brush. Okay, now we're going to jump into E5, which looks like a pencil brush. And we're going to jump into this shade here. It looks like it's a satin kind of formula. So not a matte, matte shade. And I'm going to use this to smoke out the outer corner just a tiny bit. I love doing this with small precision brushes. It's my favorite. So far, these brushes are really knocking my socks off. I mean, the bristles on them are just fabulous. Okay, so in his palettes, by the way, I do have NYX Glitter Glue. He usually has like a true old school shimmer formula, kind of like this. And then he has like a topper, kind of like Charlotte Tilbury. I'm trying to decide. Let's go for this one here. Put this in the middle. His shimmers are very soft. Don't expect Pat McGrath kind of vibes from his stuff. Like his stuff is meant to be more like soft elegance kind of eye looks. Very pretty still, but yeah. And let's jump into this one here. Um, his shades, the toppers, do get hard pan, but for me, like, I'm still getting pigment. I haven't had an issue yet. Pretty, 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 pretty. Here, maybe I'll add a tiny bit of this one. I think this one is the topper in this palette. Ooh, this one's really hard pan. This one's a lot softer, and I'm not getting as much pigment on my finger as the other one, so I might need to scratch this one. Okay, so my dumb butt forgot I had this flat, almost like a shader brush. It's okay because we still need to do the inner corner. Now I'm gonna jump into the lightest shade. It's way too light to even show up on my like crease or anything. So I'm gonna use this E4. And I'm going to put this in the inner corner. And this eye look is pretty much done. These brushes are so soft, so soft. 
dare I say, they're softer than Sonia G. I haven't tried too many eye brushes from Sonia G, but wow, this is, these are incredible. That's, they're so soft. Okay, eyebrows are done. We are going to jump in to the pearl palette and I'm gonna jump into this pink shade right here. I cleaned off my F1 brush and we're gonna use this as blush. I do not own a blush from Wayne Goss. He does have highlighter and blush duos. I just never picked one up because I didn't like, I would either not like the blush or I would either not like the highlight in the duos. So yeah, but this works just as good as a blush. And I haven't used this as a blush brush. So I just wanted to see how it performed and if I enjoy it. We are also going to jump into this shade here. See if we can use it as a highlight. This is the Sonia G Mini Cheek. I'm treading softly just in case. Oh, I think we can. Okay, perfect. Okay, I will do mascara here in a minute. I do own two of his lipsticks. He came out, I think, with a lip liner and lipstick nude kind of collection. I picked up one of the lip liners and two of the lipsticks. I have here Cashew, which is a peachy kind of nude. And then I have Nutmeg, which I think is a tiny bit darker or more on the like brown nude side. Nutmeg. And then that's cashew. Hmm. I think they would both actually go, wouldn't they? Let's go with cashew, the peachy shade. And I do have one of his lip liners, which if you've been on my channel for a minute, you already know that I do really enjoy this. I feel it's a close tube to the Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude. And I mean in this shade on my skin tone, which is medium nude. Okay, just about done. I did go in to some mascara, the Max Stack and the What's Up Beauty. So I do own a eyeliner from Wayne Goss. I'm pretty sure this came out with the Tourmaline palette. Uh, this is in Copper Flame and it's actually one of my favorite eyeliners that I would use when I did wear eyeliner. As you all know, I kind of stopped wearing eyeliner. I felt like it was affecting my waterline. Um, so I think I'll just add a tiny bit right on the lash line. This is truly a beautiful eyeliner. He did a good job with this. Um, it's been well used and abused. It's a good one. Not too much, just a tiny bit. Okay, here is the final makeup look. I used almost all Wayne Goss products. Every makeup product that he does with a lot of thought into them. He's not trying to be super innovative. He's not trying to be super unique. Let's be real. <laughs> you can't really be super unique in the makeup world. We've pretty much seen almost everything. Okay, that eyeliner looks so pretty. But here's a close-up of what my makeup... Do you see this base? This foundation is so good and more me more people need to talk about it. I don't know what they... I mean, I get it, like, so much makeup's being released that we forget, but every time I pick up his foundation, I'm reminded of how beautiful it is. Like, everything that he creates, he creates with a purpose, and he really thinks about exactly what he wants the product to be. As you can see, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. And these new brushes from him, I enjoyed these so much. They're at the top of my list right now, just with this try on. Now, like I said, I have been using this one and from the moment I picked it up, honestly, like, if it's perfect in my hand, it feels perfect. It almost feels like I'm painting, which is uh, a nostalgic feeling because it's been a minute since I've picked up a paintbrush, but these brushes are so good. 
I'm considering taking another look at the eye brushes because yeah, this one in particular uh, is so pretty. I might have to pick up just this one. Just wow, that's all I could say, wow. Now, Sonia G is coming out with some new brushes, which I kind of want to pick up because I only own a couple of her eye brushes. I haven't really dove into her eye brushes, so I can't say whether I prefer Wayne Goss or Sonia G when it comes to eye brushes. But right now, Wayne Goss, his brushes have impressed me like a lot. So I am so ecstatic that I decided to actually pick up some of these brushes because they're probably gonna be a favorite now. Wayne Goss, he knows what he's doing. Obviously, he's a makeup artist and anything he puts his creative mind and magical hands and puts it into a product. It's absolutely stunning. My makeup here is proof of that. Educational makeup videos are some of my favorite to watch. That's why I watch Nikki LaRose. I watch Wayne Gauze. I also really like Andrea Lee. So if you haven't tried anything and you're thinking about it, uh, whatever you do, decide to pick up. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Beautylish might be having a sale, so that might be a good time to pick something up, but I can't stop staring at the viewfinder because my makeup looks so good. Okay, well that's going to be it for this video because I feel like it's going to be so long with good reason because I can talk about Wayne Goss all day long. <laughs> all right, my lovelies, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea all the comments, all the likes. If you use my links to shop, it truly does mean the world to me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to do a dedicated video, not just to the brushes, but just to Wayne Goss and what he has blessed us with because it hasn't been talked about in quite some time. Um, I can't even remember what was the last release before this. Honestly, I don't remember. I would love to see some cream products from him. Cream contour, cream bronzer, cream blushes. That would be amazing. Okay, well, I would love it if you could give the video a big ol' thumbs up, and I would also love it if you could hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you all on the next video. Bye.